wanted to talk to you guys a little bit. Um, I had an amazing weekend with my family and uh, my brother just about, my younger brother about a year ago moved back into state and my older brother, I don't know, five years ago moved back into state and I love my family so much. And I remember when I was chasing after my dream and I opened a salon, uh, what I didn't know what would happen owning my own business is how much sacrifice it would take and I I know that's part of it and I you know I'm willing to take sacrifices and I'm willing to do what others aren't willing to do um, but what I didn't realize is how much time would be taken away that I would never be able to get back and it makes me it hurts because it's like I love my family so much and when my brothers would come into town I missed out on dinners I missed out on time with them because it was like sorry I have to work sorry I have to work and I know that working is also you know it's a part of living you know we have we have responsibilities and I just it sucked and I knew that if something didn't change Nothing was going to change, and I was going to continue to miss out on the people and the things that meant the most to me in life. And so this past weekend, my one of my nephews, I have seven nephews, one of them turned 13. I actually had two nephews turn 13 in April, and I got to do the escape room with them. We got to go to pizza, we got to go to Thunder Over Louisville, we got to have birthday cake. I got to spend the whole weekend with them and it's just like dang it all that time that I missed out on their wrestling meets on baseball games on just hanging out together I can never get that time back and I know so many of you are missing out on the people and the things that mean the most to you in life because we have to work right and I was self-employed I've always been self-employed as an adult, but it's just like, and I know a lot of you aren't, and I know that some of you that are self-employed still, you, you don't own the business, the business owns you, right? Um, but what I found with network marketing <laughs> was not only freedom, was not only a new set of skills that came along with it, but all the memories that I'm able to make because I am able to work from home, I am able to work from my cell phone is, it's, it's priceless. And it's just crazy to think, you know, I went into big debt for my salon and then it owned me. And then I paid hardly anything to start this new business that <laughs> came with so so much freedom, so much freedom. And so I just know many of you are in that same spot where you're sick and tired of missing out on the people and the things that mean the most to you. But you're in the you're in the rat race, right? You're in the cycle, you're in the wheel, going and going and going and you can't get out of it. You know, you can't let you can't let time lapse where there's no income or you cut your income because there, there's already probably too much month at the end of the there's too much time. Not the end of the check. What am I trying to say? There's not enough money to stop doing one thing and chase after a different goal, right? Or make a huge change. And so, again, it comes back down to sacrifices. And I, I said this a minute ago. I'm willing to take sacrifices and make sacrifices. And so when I when I got into network marketing, I was already working almost 70 hours a week. I had a 20 to 30 minute commute to work and home from work. I had a two year old daughter and I was in the worst place ever. Uh, mentally, physically, spiritually, I was hurt. I was a hurt woman and I did not need to take anything else on. I just didn't. But I knew that, oh my gosh, this, this is what this is what I've been dreaming of and thinking about and I didn't know what it 
I knew what I want, the things that I wanted. I wanted the freedom. I always would tell my husband how cool it would be to be able to work from like my phone or work from like the computer or like, and but I still wanted to be in the beauty industry. I still wanted to make people look good and feel good and help and serve and teach. I just didn't know exactly exactly what it was I was going to do, but like I would dream about it, daydream about it, and talk about it. Um, so I didn't even know that network marketing existed. I actually thought network marketing was for people who couldn't start a real business, and I was so, so wrong. It is, it's cool, and it, it takes work, it takes hard work, um, and it still takes sacrifices, um, but man, it's that freedom that I've longed for and it, it just so this weekend spending all that time with my nephew just made me realize how far I came in such a short amount of time and how more people need to know that there is a better way there is options um, and it may take you being in that cycle that cycle of um, the rat race you know being in the wheel um, stop you know maybe you have to go up give up watching television I remember remember I would DVR a couple shows 60 minutes 2020 Dateline in American Idol um, and Survivor and I would kind of binge watch them because they were on DVR and so when I got time after work Ruby got to bed I would watch them and I remember when I first started this I'd get home from those long days I'd get Ruby to work and I would work my business and I before I knew it my DVR had filled all the way up and um I was making another sacrifice. I was not watching television. I was building a business that now gives me so much freedom. So there is there is hope. There's there's hope if I can make the change. You can make the change. Just do something today for your future self. Um, make a change. Change your sacrifices. It's worth it.